Once again, we have another trigonometric equation where the aim is to solve for, uh, for y. However, we first need to solve or to get a trig ratio equal to a constant. Um, the problem is here we have three different type of trig ratios. And uh, again, we take the same approach. We, our first attempt would be to change everything into signs and causes, which means our tan can change into sine y over cos y and then we see then cos y can cancel with cos y so I'm left with 24 sine y okay, so I've got 24 sine y's on this side and negative 46 on that side so I can add the two okay so when I sit add 46 sine y on the right hand side okay I also do it on the left hand side to see that I've got 24 plus 46 sine y equal to here I've got negative 66 on the right hand side uh, to get rid of the negative 74 I must add it on both sides so that I have negative uh, positive 74 okay and that gives me what do I have so I have in the next step I'll divide with whatever coefficient the sine y has this 74 minus 66 uh, gives me um, no it's not that difficult 8 okay so I've got oh, don't forget my y I've got 8 divided by and 24 plus 46 I think that goes up to 70 okay so 8 over 70 so that y uh, not y, my reference angle, my reference angle is found by taking arc sine of this 8 over 70 or 4 over 35, whatever tickles your fancy. It's simplification is not necessary at this point, that's just to find our um, reference angle. So that is what 8 divided by 70 is, if I take the inverse and the sine of that, I find that sine of that gives me 6.56 degrees. 6.56, so my reference angle is 6.56 degrees. Important to note, we are asked to find the specific solutions. In other words, find solutions on an interval. There's our interval between 75 and 435 degrees. So first I need to get my general solution, which was what I've just done so my general or what I'm doing first of all I mean so y is either equal to 6.56 plus 360 times k okay that's the one solution or the other solution is 180 minus that so that gives me 173,44 plus 360 times k where in both cases k is an element of integers and now in order to find my solutions y can be a number of solutions it can I what I'm going to do is take k from 0 1 2 etc negative 1 negative 2 and as soon as I fall outside of my interval I stop okay so first of all if k is equal to 0 in this case I get 6.56 however that's too small the smallest value allowed is 75 degrees so k can't be 0. How about 1? 360 plus 6.56 gives me 366.56, 366. That is allowed since um, the maximum we can have is 435. So 366,56 is allowed. However, you can clearly see if I'm going to add another just 300, just 100 more would be too much. So another 360 won't work so I can't go and add it. How about if I subtract it? Well I'm already too small so subtracting anything is going to make me much too small. Okay so I'm not going to subtract any full rotations. Uh, go, go on to the second solution 173 if I add no rotations that would be fine. Okay 173,44 full is greater than 75 less than 435. If I add 173 point four four plus three sixty three hundred and seventy three no I must have made a mistake let's try again one seven three point four four plus three hundred and seventy three 
360 is equal to 533 that's too big M maximum allowed is 430 5 that's too big let's subtract well you can see 173.43.44 if I were to subtract 360 I'm going to get a negative number which is impossible I must have Neg uh, 75, positive 75 is my m uh, minimum number so that's not going to work so this time I see that that's my only solution that's allowed okay if I can't subtract 1 I can't subtract 2 so uh, I hope that makes sense I know I'm going a bit fast now but I've done so many of these things that I am hoping you are getting the point cool that's me for now see you in the next video